Good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is Dr. Theron Sherman, and today's briefing doesn't contain any particularly objectionable material. So, item number SCP-1367, object class, safe, special containment procedures. When not being utilized for experimentation, SCP-1367 is to be kept in storage containment unit B-19 inside a cushion container with 60cm by 60cm by 60cm dimensions. Before storage, the container must be thoroughly cleaned of any hard or sharp debris. Before being removed from storage for experimentation, the latex elements of the object must be sprayed with a thin layer of a liquid plastic polymer solution to improve durability. Personnel should be cautious when handling the object due to its possible fragile nature. Description: SCP-1367 is a helium-filled balloon of common make and red coloration, measuring 45.7 centimeters from apex to inflation valve which is tied shut by a 73.6 cm white string. The object has no identifying marks that would indicate a manufacturer. Testing of the physical durability of SCP-1367 has been minimal due to the fragile nature of the commonly manufactured balloons which it resembles. However, it has been concluded that it does not lose helium through its permeable latex membrane. While it does exhibit the buoyancy expected from its helium content, the object's movements seem to be unaffected by air current and lift. SCP-1367, if left to float freely, will begin to maneuver towards the largest gathering of at least six individuals within 480 meters whose aggregate mood is at least mildly positive. This deliberate movement is difficult to detect since the object moves as if it were being pushed about by an air current. However, tests conducted in an airtight room have proved no air current is necessary for the object's locomotion. When SCP-1367 comes within 4.5 meters of a targeted gathering, auditory abnormalities are heard by all within listening range. The amount of distinct speakers seems to be doubled, as additional voices are heard amongst the group. These voices are invariably in high spirits, and seem to belong to individuals that match the age and vocal patterns exhibited by the majority of those present, though mimicking no group member exactly. The context of this audio phenomenon is difficult to decipher, as it only occurs when other normal audio is being generated and never exceeds its volume. The extraneous audio always appears to be emanating from several meters away and has been proven to be audible on recordings as well. In rare situations, other audio elements have been heard. These seem to become more common when SCP-1367 has bonded to a larger and louder group with an elevated mood. Documented examples of these instances are listed below. The sounds of children laughing and playing outdoors. A slurred toast followed by the noise of glasses clinking. People chanting, CHUG, encouragingly. Several renditions of the birthday song based on the melody composed by the Hill Sisters. Moans indicative of sexual activity. An entertainer's voice, using a manner of speech commonly attributed to clowns. Chanting in an unknown language. Carnival pipe organ music. Anomalous audio resembling humanoid voices will not communicate with any real individuals. When the targeted group disperses, its speech and noise levels subside, or its mood changes to a non-positive state, the audio phenomena will cease and SCP-1367 will move to another group fulfilling its criteria if one is available. As the effect of realizing there is extraneous audio is somewhat disquieting, a targeted group noticing the effect will oftentimes inadvertently end the object's effects. In cases where SCP-1367's effects go unnoticed or are disregarded, the targeted group will find themselves experiencing a slowly elevating positive mood and increasingly fewer inhibitions when it comes to social interaction. At approximately two hours of exposure, there seems to be no further effect. At no point does the targeted gathering seem to be under a compulsion to continue their activities and behave with normal discretion in regards to commitments, exhaustion, and the like. Observed targeted groups have engaged in binge drinking games, food fights, dancing without music, physical children's games, and orgies, among other activities. Wasn't there a red balloon at Dr. Bright's New Year's Eve party? That's sus. All right, staff, that ends our broadcast. Use your Foundation encrypted YouTube account to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell, and support our broadcast at patreon.com site42. Secure. Contain. Protect.